Hey friends, it's McKenna and today you are going to be following me around as I go to an antique mall in Indiana to search for Monster High dolls. So um, my boyfriend's dad a few days ago sent me a picture of a section in the antique mall um, that he happened to know sells a lot of toys. Um, and the section was literally filled with Monster High dolls. Um, some in box, some out of box, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So my boyfriend told me today that he would take me over there and we could go search. Um, I have $100, so hopefully I can get some good stuff, but I will meet y'all there. Bye. Okay, so we're here. Um, first of all, they have a ton. They have a ton here. Um, some of them are priced a little bit high, but actually um, some of them aren't bad. Like, let's see, it looks like maybe... Although, I don't know, it could be 178 or it could be 17. I can't tell. <laughs> um, but this is an Elizabeth right here. They're all in Ziploc bags and most of them look like they're complete. Um, Laguna, obviously, without her fins. But um, if you want to come over here, they have a ton. Like, literally, this whole thing is mixed with monster high and ever after high so it's it's gonna be quite a look here but um this cleo is really pretty um she's 29 we've got a wear cat twin that i'm probably gonna come home with she's 29 um so they've got a ton it's gonna take me a while to look through all of these oh my goodness donna the dance frankie this one's probably really expensive oh my gosh not even 1890 not bad for a Donna the Dance Frankie. She is missing her shoes, but um, not bad at all. They've got so many here. Um, they've got a, a reboot Claudine and Abby's clothes, um, which is crazy because she's 22. She should not be that expensive, but whatever. Um, so many dolls here. They, I see they've got GD, Cleo, ton of them. Accessories, ton of like little bag of accessories for $10. And then if you want to follow me around this corner, where are they at? Okay, here, over here, they have tons and tons of inbox dolls. Um, they've got uh, Boo York, Boo York <laughs> Deuce. They've got, uh, a, oh no, sorry, this is a Scaris Deuce, Scaris Jennifer. Um, they've got Ghoul's Getaway Jennifer, a Reboot Laguna. I, I have no idea what that is. We've got uh, Headless Headmistress Blood Goods so in box. Um, this is like an activity thing still in box. I have no idea what these are up here, but I'm going to try to reach it down. Um, oh my goodness, these little makeup sets. These were iconic, if you remember these. Um, they've got a Goliope up here. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, they've got Goliope. Um, what is that? A oh, Frightmares doll. Uh, some of these I don't even recognize because they're reboot. They're beyond my time for sure. But um, they've got like Draculaurus car. Um, two Draculaurus cars actually. Um, they've got a ton of stuff here. So it's definitely going to take me time to go through it. I think this is. Spectra's bed. They've got like three Spectra's beds. Um, tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, yeah, it's gonna definitely take me a while to go through all of this, but like even to my right here, they've got uh, Brad's dolls still in box. They've got, um, who is this, Doc McStuffins, like Disney Junior stuff all over here. So it's it's definitely going to take me a while to go through all of this stuff and I'm not going to film that whole thing because that would literally be crazy. But um, I will definitely film a haul when I get out of here of everything that I decide to get. And then if I see any like super interesting or rare dolls, I'll definitely make sure to like take pictures of those or take a little video and add it in. But um, I'm going to be here for probably a while going through all of this stuff. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're having problems. We are having problems. So these two dolls right here, first of all, we didn't even know this when we first started filming, but this whole booth, because we're an antique mall, and the way that antique malls work is that, if you've never been to one, is that there are booths, and then the people lease the booth 
out and they put all their stuff in it. So it's like renting a shop in a mall, kind of. Um, so this whole booth is 20% off. These two Rochelles, I love, but I'm, I think I'm going to have to choose between the two of them. And if I only get, if I just get these two, then these are the only two dolls I can get. So that's where my dilemma is. I'm kind of leaning towards Scaris Rochelle, um, but I really want Ghoul's Night out, so I'm not sure. Um, and then there's also, I'm not sure if I'm going to get her, but this is Dana Tregera. I think that's how you say her name. Um, Dana Tregera Jones from the Shriek Rex line. Um, again, not sure if I'm going to get her, but I just wanted to show her because she's a cool doll. Um, and her dress is a two-in-one. You can see it on the box. Um, so it flips around, but these are cool. Um, yeah, she's a cool doll, but I don't think I'm going to get her. I just wanted to show her. Um, then there is a Coffin Bean Abby. She's super cute. I love Abby. She's one of my favorite dolls. Um, so still looking at her and that's crazy because this doll's only $20. Um, Vandalia, not Vandalia, I'm sorry. Dana is only, um, 38. The Rochelles are both like 50. Um, then we have, oh, I have one more inbox, so sorry. We have a Scaris, um, Draculaura. She's really cute. I love Scaris Draculaura. I actually had her as a kid. Um, she's super cute. I like her bangs on this one. So, yeah. And then I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but any of the inbox dolls that I get, I will be posting in the Facebook groups I mentioned before to see if there are out of box dolls that somebody would want to trade because I hate to open an inbox doll that somebody really wants. Um, because I don't do inbox dolls in my collection. It's just, it's too much space that they take up. So as for the out of box dolls, um, I'm definitely going to get, I believe this is Meowlity. Um, definitely going to get her. She comes with her yarn purse, which is pretty rare. All of her bracelets or shoes, everything. She's complete. Um, there is a home ick Frankie that, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get, but I think she's complete. She's got her little stitch bracelet and everything. Um, and all of these dolls that I'm showing you now are about $17. Um, I don't know what Gulia this is. Um, but here she is. I don't know if she's complete either. I mean, it looks like she is. Most of these dolls are. Fans class operetta. I'm not sure if I'm going to get her because she does not have her mask. And this operetta is wearing Barbie shoes. This is um, Dot Dead Gorgeous operetta who has her mask. So these are all the dolls that I'm currently looking at. Um, I've looked through all the dolls at this point and I'm going to have to narrow down what I want to get because uh, as I mentioned before, I only have $100. So we'll see. Okay guys, so it has been a couple days since I was filming at that antique store. Um, I just got really caught up in the weekend and we were at my boyfriend's house um that night after we went to the antique store so it was just too much to try to like film what i got at his house but i am back at home now and i am ready to show you guys what i came home with so as i mentioned i had a budget of 100 dollars. i did go over a little bit um but not a ton i think i went over by like 10 or 15 dollars so nothing crazy but um I had to go over and you will see why. As I mentioned in the video, everything in that booth was 20% off. So I got a great deal on all of these dolls. And yeah, so I ended up only getting three and I'm gonna show you what I got. Starting with the least exciting to me, in my opinion, and going on to the most exciting, so. We're gonna start here. All three of the dolls that I got are in box. I did mention I'm not an inbox collector. I did post all of these dolls in the Facebook groups that I'm in. And while everybody commented and said like how nice it was that I was posting them and like offering to trade, nobody responded about trading. And I posted those like three days ago. So I think I'm gonna end up opening all these dolls. <laughs> um, which I know is bad. And like people talk about it's bad all the time, but like I did my due diligence. I asked if anybody wanted these dolls. 
and that picture that I mentioned in my first video that was sent to me like a week before I even went and got these dolls so god knows how long they were on the shelf before that I mean they're clearly trying to get some space in there so that booth was packed though so many dolls um so the first one that I got was Coffin Bean Abby Bominable um Abby is probably my favorite out of all of the Monster High characters I love her. I love her actual character in the webisodes. I love the way that the doll looks. I love her backstory. I love everything about Abby. Um, and I love her clothes. I love her color scheme. Just, uh, I love Abby. So this is the Coffin Bean Abby in box. And as you can see, she originally was supposed to be $20.80. Um, but she was cheaper because she was 20% off, obviously. Um, and she's never been unboxed. She's still completely in there. She's gorgeous. I love her hair and that little ponytail. She's got on little, you can see them, purple boots that are like clear. She's so cute. Her box is actually in decent condition. I wouldn't say it's really good condition, but I mean, it's beat up. You can see, obviously, probably just from being in the antique store and also like these dolls were released like six seven years ago so she's not in she's in perfect condition her box though could do some love um then the next doll i got make sure i'm gonna pull the right one out yeah i think it's this one yeah that i am definitely like 100 percent unboxing like no questions asked i didn't even post this one because her box is in terrible condition it is ghouls night out rochelle oh this is my favorite rochelle um i guess mm, next i'm so sorry that was my cat i'm not even i don't even want to know what she's doing okay yeah come on she's scared now you scare yourself you scare yourself it's okay um, <laughs> this is probably my favorite Rochelle right next to Freak to Chic Rochelle. Um, the Freak to Chic Rochelle is super cute. Uh, I would love to own her one day. But, uh, for now, this is my favorite Rochelle that I own. And this Ghoul's Night Out, her box though, oh my gosh, it's like clearly ripped open at the top. Um, the back actually has like Christmas wrapping paper on it, which is hilarious. Um, it's like really dirty and dusty and scratched up. You can't even see on camera because the ring light makes everything look like really nice. But it's the box is like it's like torn up on the back, all over, cracked on the sides. Um, it's like greasy, it's dirty. It, I would never resell this. I would never trade it. And like it's not worth it. Even like the background of the box is peeling up. You can see her stand. Like you can't even see her stand. Um, it might be a better to show you that way, but yeah, so she's sticky. Um, but I can't wait to open her because like I said, I love this Rochelle. I love this whole line. Like this whole line is so cute. Laguna and Spectra in this line are adorable. I love the accessories they come with. I love the idea behind it. I love everything about it. So I really cannot wait to open her. She's adorable and I can't wait to look at her little diary because I love the diaries that the dolls came with my mom threw all of mine away I was so upset so really excited to open her um her hair is so long oh, I can't wait to brush it oh my goodness okay the most exciting doll that I got is Garris Rochelle in box in perfect condition like literally this box looks like it could have been pulled like directly from target shelf it's insane she is beautiful and I tried to trade her I posted her in I think at least two groups if not three and nobody wanted to trade um and, and nobody even offered to buy her or anything and I mean I did say I would trade for like um, I'm sorry. I don't know what she's doing. Um, I did say I would treat her for another Scaris Rochelle. Um, but even then, like, people will offer, be like, well, I have this doll. Like, are you interested in this doll? And 
Um, I've seen that happen before, but nobody was like really interested. I don't know if it's because I've never like really bought or sold anything in the groups, but I don't know. But she's in really good condition. It makes me sad to like unbox her, but I want to touch her. Like I want to, I want the doll. Like I don't care really much about the box, but I'm going to be very careful unboxing her. That way I can rebox her if I need to. Um, but I mean, she's in there pretty good. I can't wait to read her little diary. I love her outfit. I love her accessories. Um, I just, I love Rochelle. Um, I would say she's probably my second favorite right next to Abby. Out of the original, like, group of dolls, it's hard between Draculaura and Cleo because I really, really, really love the aesthetic of Draculaura and I've always loved vampires but Cleo is just such a gorgeous doll and such a gorgeous concept and I love her backstory so it's hard to decide but that's for a different video um yeah oh and I didn't mention the price on the ghouls night out um the ghouls night out Rochelle was 65.80 before the discount this one was 52.80 before the discount um I would say that the prices for the dolls are uh, close to what it is on eBay, a little bit less. Um, and then once you factor in shipping and the discount that I got, I, I got a really good deal. I ended up spending like $115 on all three of these dolls for three dolls in box in good condition. $115 is insane. So um, I'm really happy with the purchases I got and I will eventually be doing unboxing videos of all of the dolls and like doing reviews and showing the details but I don't know when exactly that'll be coming I will let y'all know but thank you so much for watching thank you so much for following along with me and I hope you have a great day bye